guests. And from a personal note, I started this show as a skeptic when we started doing this podcast. Tim actually brought me on to be the skeptic and I've gone down the rabbit hole. (laughs) I've I've lost all control. I've gone down the rabbit hole. I, however, find my day-to-day life to be with a lot of women who are moms of young children my age. It's really hard for me to go like, hey, yeah, I I believe in UFOs. You want to have your kid over for a play date later? No? Okay. (laughs) So how? what do you guys say to skeptics, to people that still just don't believe, refuse to believe that there might be something else? When I come across those people, I tell them that they're missing out. It's not it's not on me to try to change their mind. They can make their mind up for themselves. But what I will say is that the the preponderance of successful and wealthy people that I have met who are believers, there is no small correlation between intelligent, successful, wealthy people and questions about the universe that make them believers in some of the data that's out there and some of the findings that we've had. So to me, that seems to suggest that the more open your mind is, the more opportunity comes your way. And that has certainly been proven true for me during this investigation. I, I think, you know, yeah, I'm sorry. Go ahead, CJ. Oh, I was just going to say that was very well said. Yeah. He's, you know, he's such an, an eloquent young man. Um, <laughs> Old man, you- but thank you. <laughs> That's the beginning of the episode. <laughs> um. No, I think I think Andy's point is 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 well made. I mean, you know, people who are open minded are are people who have a particular framework about the world, about themselves. They have, I think, a certain humility uh, and curiosity. Um, and if if you've already come to some conclusions about this, I would ask people like, well, <laughs> how do you know? What have you seen that I haven't seen? Because I have been out there looking a little bit, and I haven't, you know, come to any conclusions. Um, I'm open to possibility. And again, I think that's the, you know, that's the spirit in which you have to approach these things. Because if someone has come to, has come to some kind of definitive answer, one way or the other, to be honest, because again, what, what we've been saying all along is that we need more data. Um, you know, I'd, I'd love to know how you think you know that because I sure mm-hmm. don't. So tune in. Next well, now, week. Yeah. Now that I'm open-minded, I'm going to put myself in that successful, intelligent category that Andrew has just described. <laughs> Next comes the money. You belong there. Next comes the money. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Here it's, I can feel it now. Um, okay. Well, we thank you guys so much for coming on. We've been okay to tease other locations. So I will say that I'm very much looking forward to your episode in North Carolina because that's where we are based. So Vietnam. I mean, Fayetteville. Fayetteville. <laughs> Oh, you're about to be blown away when you see where we go in North Carolina then. No pun intended. Yeah. Oh, boy. Blown away. Yeah. Vietnam. In Vietnam. Yeah, that's what we call it. Vietnam. Fayetteville. All right. Gentlemen, anything else before we sign out for the evening? You know, I think all I want to say is that it was an absolute joy to work with Paul, to work with the whole team. I mean, these were these were strangers when I met them on our first day in Arizona. And they were family by the time I left them uh, in February. Uh, and, and it was just an absolute joy that, that it just goes beyond the, the show. It goes beyond the discoveries and the investigation and the contribution to science. And, uh, and it was just, it was awesome. And I, I want to make sure that anybody who tunes in, who gets to watch the show, understands that, yes, you're watching scientific discovery. And yes, you're watching some of the, the most impressive things that have ever been captured on film, thanks to our film crew. But you're also really watching. Uh, a family at work dedicated and committed to each other in the field. And I think also just no matter what, if you don't have fun watching this show, like, I don't know what to tell you. Like, (laughs) I mean, I don't care on some level if you believe or don't believe, but like, please just, just come along for the ride. Like it's fun to go out and ask these questions and do this stuff. So, you know, to, just to lighten it all a little bit, like we're out there, we're, we're, we're trying to figure things out. We're, as Andy said, we're a family. We all really, uh, we, we began as strangers. We ended as, 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 as a, a, a unit that would, was literally dragging each other through the mud, uh, <laughs> and through the snow um, to get to the finish line. So, you know, please, uh, we're, we're excited to have people come along for the ride. Awesome. Well, I sure hope that you guys will come back and join us at the end of 
your season so that you can talk to us about some of the things that you have discovered on the show. But until then, we'll wait our eight weeks, watch each episode, and we'll come back around then. Sounds great, CJ. Thanks, everybody, for having